Ooh, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live. Is it time to sell, guys? Is it time to get out of crypto? Is it time to, to, to dump your lunch on the road, guys? Because I know that right now crypto is looking really sick and it's making everybody feel uneasy and not very good in the house, guys. So we're going to talk about that. Should you be selling? What you should be doing? What I'm going to be doing? Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is the OG expressing his opinion. I'm not a licensed financial advisor, guys. So it's been a pretty tumultuous uh, 24 hours. And we just see things going down, dee 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 down. Down. Speaking going uh, down, we see that right now we're seeing that Dow drops 200 points as stocks extended losses for Thursday's massive sell-off, guys. So we're still seeing that uh, you know the Dow is still dropping, the S&P is still dropping, the Nasdaq is still dropping, and a lot of this dro droppage is has to do with inflation fears, geopolitical tensions. Uh, you know the interest rates are up. We see that, you know, uh, UK's inflation is up, uh, you know, the Eurozone's inflation is up. So this is really, people are just panicking. The Wall Street traders, they're not trading, they're not investing, they're just, they're just losing their minds. <laughs> out there and they literally do not know what to do you know and from that perspective so let's take a look at the heat map the heat map analysis guys so right now we're seeing a time recording the heat map we're seeing that bitcoin is below thirty six thousand dollars ouch guys and we're at thirty five thousand nine hundred sixty nine we're seeing everything is in deep deep red the blood the carnage on the streets guys it's just everywhere it's a you know running wild and you know what you should be doing right now is i'm telling you i'm going to show you some some data, some information out there. I'm, I'm not trying to be a moon boy. I'm still bullish, but there's some data out there from a lot of good TA analysts that... Uh this is just a huge fake out, guys. And, you know, we're going to be seeing things going up and up, up. And, you know, today I did dollar cost average. I spent about, about 40K. I bought some Biddy, bought some Ethereum, and I bought uh, some of the uh, top 10 project guys. So I did that, and I'm still pretty uh, pretty comfortable about that. Yeah, I'm down a little bit from that original DCA. But I just believe that this is a huge fake out, guys, a huge fake out. I mean, look at look at Luna Foundation, guys. Luna just bought $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion with a B dollar of Bitcoin to boost their stable reserves, guys. So, you know, they just, you know, the Luna Foundation uh, Guard bought another 37,863 Bitcoin. So, you know, uh, why why would Do Kwan, why would he be buying Bitcoin at the tune of $1.5 billion right now, today, if he thought that this thing was going to be going down, de -de 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 down and more. Sure, we may see some turbulence when it comes to Bitcoin. We may see some more price action going down. But overall, I'm still bullish on the long-term time frame, guys. And, you know, we did see this happen last May, guys. Last May, we did see a big, huge dump, guys. And if you don't remember, let's go all the way back to May of last year, and you'll absolutely see it in the house, that if we go all the way back to May, where is it going to be? Let's get it, guys. We will. Let's get it, guys. We can go all the way back to May, and you'll see it that May 2021. Where are you? Let's get it, guys. December 2022, 2021. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. So we can see that if we go all the way back to May uh, 2021, that the 19th of May, uh, Bitcoin went down to 29,000. I repeat, the 19th of May, Bitcoin went down to $21,000, guys. So is history repeating itself? Is history absolutely repeating itself right here, right in front of our eyes? Are we seeing something, you know, is history repeating? Let's go, let's go find, let's go find uh, where we are today. We are uh, May 6th. May 6th right here. So on the May 13th, so you guys are seeing that we're getting a similar kind of uh, action happening. We had this big wick to the downside and we went as low as $29,000. So, you know, what I'm trying to say to you all is we have absolutely been here before. We have been here before. So, you know, don't panic too much just yet. You know, all is not lost. A lot of people think that all is lost and uh, that's it. You know, we have some good support at uh, 35000 And remember, I did tell you that we have this whole, uh, you know, horizontal line that's been going for quite some time between 43000 and 35000 So we're still above the $35,000 area. So I'm not too concerned. But you know, Doquan, like I said, Doquan is still buying up Biddy, guys. Absolutely buying up Biddy. And you can see that. And right now, the top 10 uh, mentioned coins on Twitter in the last hour has been BTC, been Ethereum, BNB in the house, Cardano, Litecoin, Shiba Inu, Digibyte, Solana, Wax, and Polygon on Matic, guys. So, you know, people are still talking about the Twitter, uh, talking about the crypto on Twitter. Oh my goodness, I get my words right. I'm, I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing, I'm absolutely 
still losing to my mind. So I know a lot of you uh, weak Nancy's out there. You're just like wetting the bed, uh, panicking out there. Uh, I, I, you know, di- you know. Leave me a comment. Did you panic, Sal? You know, out there uh, in YouTube land, did you panic sell? Leave me a comment. Did you uh, panic sell? How many of you out there actually bought more crypto today? Did anyone buy more crypto? I'd love to hear your comments, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you did. And don't forget to boop the likes. Subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash the likes. So, you know, people are still talking about uh, crypto on the, on the Twitter, guys. So this is from D- BTC Fuel. And we're seeing right now, as you can see here, that uh, you know the BTC dominance, the BTC, the USD, USDT dominance is in a similar setup to 2021 correction. So what that means is when the uh, US state USDT, the US Tether uh, stablecoin goes down in terms of dominance, often that is a huge bullish sign that we're going to have a retest and correction, and we should be going to the upside. So right now it's retesting the black trend line while RSI is showing a bearish divergence. US Tether dominance heading lower is very bullish for Bitcoin. And you know, FYI, when the US uh, uh, US tether dominance draws money flows back from stable coins into all coins of Bitcoin. So meaning, meaning people are buying again and price moves up. So you're seeing that the, the dominance is uh, dropping right now. And this is going to be very bullish for uh, Bitcoin. So, you know, the US tether dominance is dropping. And the, that means as I, you know, we're going to be seeing more of that uh, US tether going back onto exchange to buy a bitty and buy altcoins. So we're going to start to see some liquidity moving in a positive direction for crypto guys so that is pretty cool this is from uh this is from uh, stock money and what he's saying is a weak hand should not panic guys the weak hand should not panic you should not be panicking out there trade tra- trading channel upper bound right here guys and middle bound right here and lower bound so right now we're still in the channel we're still absolutely in the channel even at even at thirty five thousand dollars we're still in the channel guys and the p1 pattern and the p2 pattern is very similar and repeats the parabolic run is ahead of us guys so if you look at the if you look at the p1 pattern and the p and the, the p2 pattern it's very similar right now and we're going to see a bull run coming guys so i wouldn't worry about it the ta and everything is still telling us that we're still okay we're still golden we're just accumulating in a channel zone and you know right now between uh between like forty thousand and the 32,500 are still good, good buying zones. So these are still zones to be buying the crypto, guys. Be buying the bitty, guys. So these are good zones, guys. Good pickup zones, not financial advice. So Terra now holds 2.9 billion. So as I said, Doquan, he just aped in like a crazy person. And he, you know, he didn't sell any of Bitcoin out there. He bought more and now he owns 2.9 billion. OMG. That's a lot of bitty, guys. That's absolutely a lot of bitty. So, you know, we're seeing right now the top, top top corporate entities that own bitcoin own bitcoin and these guys are not selling micro strategy owns 129,218 we're we're seeing that terra now owns 80,393 and tesla owns 43,000 i mean elon musk he didn't sell any Michael Sayer, he didn't sell any, and Doquan ain't selling. He buying like a madman out there, guys. So if Biddy was going to crash down to twenty thousand and crash down to fifteen thousand, like a lot of the you know people are spreading a lot of fud out there right now, a lot of negative Nancys. You know people are losing money. They get all crazy. They get mad. They get evil out there. And what they want to do is they want to ruin the party for everybody else. And what they do is they spread fud. So right now we're seeing that itty bitty baby is still you know just trending on my purple line, guys. So I'm still pretty cool with that. And you know, even if a bitty goes down to thirty-one thousand, I'm still cool. Even if bitty goes down to twenty-eight thousand, I'm still cool, guys. As long as we don't go down into this area, you know, as long as we don't get down to twenty-five thousand dollar area, we are going to be fine. Uh, you know, if we do get lower than twenty-five thousand, then we're going to have. There's going to be a chance, a slim chance that the uh, uh, you know the Bitcoin miners are going to start selling. So that's kind of like you know the area that we need to keep our, uh, our eyes peeled on is at around twenty five thousand dollars. So if Biddy goes all the way tw- down to twenty five thousand, we got problems. But we have seen that last year at the same time we did see Biddy go all the way down to around about 29,000 and it went and it just touched into my zone we did see biddy uh the 21st of june also go in that zone guys we did see that and you know after remember after biddy dropped into this zone three times once twice three times what happened next is bitcoin hit an all-time high of around about sixty nine thousand dollars i'm not making this up uh, here we go again when bitcoin dropped into this zone here back in january once twice three times 
it went and painted an all-time high. So, you know, even if we go into this zone, we have seen these zones before, here and here. And that is often the precursor of a huge upside, upside. And, you know, that blue box, that, that blue box is huge level support. And it tells me that Bitcoin could be making a run to the upside. Now, if we do make a run to the upside here, we're going to see that the uh, top side is even going to be higher than $70,000. We could be seeing an $80,000 coming in because if you look at, if you measure the difference between this top here and that top there, that's around about 8%, right? So, you know, if we, if we get rid of that right now and we measure 8% from this top here and we go up, okay, another 8% from there, that looks we that looks like you know we could be getting you know in the house around about uh, seventy thousand dollar Bitcoin or more. So you know or more guys. Sorry, my bad, my bad. It looks like we're going to get a seventy four thousand dollar a Bitcoin. So if we go up the same percentage from this top to that top, which was eight point three four percent, and we hit that top again, then it looks like we're going to be hitting. And I repeat, we're going to be hitting a seventy. Four thousand dollar Bitcoin in the house, guys. Seventy four thousand, seventy four thousand, so seventy five thousand dollar Bitcoin. So that's what I'm thinking. The setup. I think the next setup is looking pretty bullish for seeing a seventy five thousand dollar Bitcoin in the house, guys. So that's what I think is going to happen. What do you guys think? Smash the comments. Lovey, lovey. Show some love, guys, and uh, don't forget to like. Super chats would be very much welcome and appreciated. So that's what I think. You know, look, we were in this box here before, before, before. You know, we went, we went, we hit this box. The low here in the in the in the blue box went up to all time high. We will crash down again into the blue box, all time high. So even if we get to, into this box, we're gonna go up again another eight percent from here to here is eight percent. If we see another eight percent, which which is logical, right, guys? We could see a seventy five thousand dollar Bitcoin coming in. So I'm not worried, guys. Absolutely not worried in the house, guys. I'm not worried in the house. So this also coming in right now. We're seeing you know best time to buy. I told you is between right now forty to thirty thousand. Not financial advice. The terror's terror's got more. Terror's holding two point nine billion right now, and right now also too micro strategy, Terra and Tesla. They ain't selling, guys. They're holding with diamond hands. So that is pretty cool beans. And, you know, this also in, you know, we believe that uh, selling volume is historically declining and that it's possible to identify low points of Bitcoin. By identifying the peak volumes, this uh, declining the declining dynamic, the last peak in, in selling volume occurred in May 2021 and the subsequent uptrend is still ahead of us. So in uh, May 2021, as I just showed you, we had this uptrend in volume. We had this peak right here, guys. And, uh, you know, from there, we went all the way up. And we saw it happen once, twice here. And, you know, it looks like we're going to be doing the same thing. So it looks like uh, history is repeating itself, absolutely repeating itself. So I'm not too worried in the house right now. So let's take a look at the leverage apes. Let's take a quick look at the leverage apes. So right now we got five hundred and three million dollars worth of wreckage out there. Uh, that's about one hundred twenty-eight thousand traders, and these are all longs, guys. Let's just uh, take a look. Longs are all longs. Everything is long. So you know we're getting this huge long squeeze happening. You can see on the on the four hour, the one hour, it's all longs, guys. So that's why Biddy's going down. And trust me, this is a fake out, guys. This is a big fake out before the next big breakout. And right now for Dogecoin, Dogecoin is at twelve fifty right now. We got some huge support at 12, and I think we're just going to be going sideways between 12 and 13 cents for the next couple of days. I think next week we're going to get out of this, and we're going to see some movement. I think by mid-May we're going to see some movement coming. I wouldn't worry about it. And I think after we get the CPI data that's coming out on the 11th, I think things will brighten up and get a little bit better out there. So right now Ethereum has dropped below our 2700 support level, and our next support level for Ethereum is at 2200 in the house. So, you know... I, if we go down to 2200 fine uh, that's if we need to retest that before we have the big you know boom to 4000 5000 that's fine we may have to retest that uh, I'm still pretty bullish the OG is still bullish you should be bullish uh, I mean but if you if you can't stand the heat guys definitely 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 get out of crypto if you guys can't stand the heat but I ain't selling I'm holding on like it like 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 with diamond hands with crypto hands out there and we're seeing that right now phantom is at uh, 70 cents in the house 
is going sideways in this channel and this channel is between a buck and 51 cents even we go down to 51 cents i think that's got to be uh, some a huge support zone so i'm not too worried we're seeing solana right now is being supported at the 80 dollar area and even though the other uh, bitcoin and other cryptos going down solana is finding some really good support at 80 dollars so that is pretty bullish guys and i think this is a good buy zone absolutely good buy 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 zone and it's not financial advice we're seeing that the, the market cap right now is at uh, 1.76 uh, 1.67 trillion and the volumes are still really high guys but the bitcoin dominance is dropping so let's see guys like i said the u.s uh, the u.s uh, tether dominance is dropping that's often bullish and we're seeing that you know things are looking pretty pretty nasty pretty gnarly out there it's a bloodbath it's carnage it's carnage and we're seeing bitcoin is down everything is down there's nothing in the green the only thing that's in the green is stable coins everything else is just oh die is in the green wow but everything is green guys i mean everything is red 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 i gotta get my colors right i'm the og's gone color right uh so everything is in the red nothing's looking pretty good uh so that's what it is and uh you know this is a good opportunity to go bargain hunting this is a good opportunity to buy the dips i mean just look at some of these coins on the 30 days like bitcoin down 20 percent ethereum down 19 uh solana down 30 i mean these things are just like tank guys you know we're saying any any project in the you know any project in the top 20 that is uh, below down uh, 30 percent in my opinion these are good pickups these are good pickups look every look at sierra 39 percent these are good pickups guys so you know time it's time in the market guys and gals so don't panic absolutely don't panic <laughs> go follow me on my twitter guys i know hopefully this cheered you guys up i mean some of you are probably you know there's nothing that's going to cheer you up unless we see uh, you know fifty thousand dollar bitcoin in the house so go follow me on twitter I would appreciate it. Go boot the likes, smash the likes, super chats would be appreciated if you're in the live stream, guys. And uh, do follow me, become a Patreon member, and uh, buy the channel of coffee. And guys, we've got the Dogecoin Kippin' Jar. I know a lot of you are not feeling so tippy tippy right now, but that's okay. That's love, guys. So, once again, guys, uh, don't forget to go and get the merch, guys. Get get the merch, um, get the mug, the mug. Once again, guys, be blessed, be well. This is an OG. I just want to say I love you guys to death. Don't panic out there. Um, I mean, what I'm doing, I'm not selling. I've actually been buying more, buying more, 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 more. Uh, and I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you, do you do you. You do you. Do what's uh, right for you. Remember, it's your money. Never buy anything more than you're willing to lose. And, uh, you know, don't, don't don't use your rent to buy crypto. Don't use your food money to buy crypto. And remember, sometimes you need to be patient. Sometimes you need to wait six months. Sometimes you need to wait a year. Sometimes you need to wait two years to get to the promised land of financial freedom and the huge rewards. That's just a cycle where in, guys i mean don't look at the uh, time frames you're only talking like 24 hours it's nothing so you know you just have to be patient and be willing to wait and if a crypto is driving you nuts stop looking at your portfolio close your computer close your phone and just go about your business and uh don't uh, don't worry about it but you do you out there and uh you know that's it i i'm not selling i'm not selling you may want to sell but you do you okay guys god bless you i'll see you in the next one i love it you love it i'll see you guys cheer up okay come on come on cheer up cheer up Cheer up! It's OG, the Ric Flair of crypto. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! In the house, guys. Cheer up, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.